गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स वील कंटिन्यू विथ अवर सीरीज ऑफ मदर टिंक्चर्स एंड द होमियोपैथिक थेरापेटिक्स अप टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड रिगार्डिंग द थ्री फोर मदर टिंक्चर्स ऑन द फर्स्ट डे वी हैव डिस्कस्ड रिगार्डिंग द एप्सिंथियम एंड द थेरापेटिक्स ऑफ एपीलेप्सी सेकेंड डे वी हैव लर्न थ्री मदर टिंक्चर्स द ग्रिंडेलिया Lata and the Pothas, which acts specifically on the <coughs> bronchitis and bronchial asthma. Today we'll go ahead with cough because it is quite common issue. In fact, topic is very big. To discuss the cough is very very big issue, but I will going to discuss only one mother tincture during this session. we'll just understand how i used to look towards the curve and then we'll learn one of the common mother tincture i used to use in my practice but i think that i used to think a lot while prescribing that and that's why before going towards that mother tincture we'll understand the the way i look towards the curve so whenever patient comes to us with a curve he already the the people who knows you or who who are knowing the homeopathy they comes in acute state and it's too simple to tackle their cup it's too simple because you get the characteristics but when you are new in homeopathic practice people doesn't know homeopathy over there and they comes to you at the last Um, solution they have already consumed a lot of allopathic medicines they have not got the desired results or they have consumed the anti allergics the bronchoid dilators then the anti tussives and sometimes even steroids and when they comes to you at that time it becomes a very difficult issue to treat that cough and that's why this cup even though it looks very simple to treat it is quite difficult to treat actually if it is an acute case you get a typical characteristics that patient gives you directly it's too simple so a patient comes to you me one of the day and he asked me since the doctor is since yesterday i am having severe sore throat along with the cup and cup is i whenever i used to talk it used to aggravate and it is irritating me a lot so i looked towards his throat and there was a uvula which was elongated and it was bent to right that was my observation i opened the repertory i looked towards it in the throat uvula elongated bent to right that is very typical rubric and only remedy which is given under it the barreta carbonicum and that elongated uvula when touching the right tonsils or in lying down position it irritates a lot barreta cup i have prescribed and barreta cup very fast within a day settled that patient from that condition so such types of acute effects you can see in crock of cases but when patient comes in a chronic cough then it becomes an issue in homeopathy we have ample remedies to tackle the cough ample remedies but every remedy is having its own specific action its specific its specific characteristic unless you catch that characteristic it is not possible to find it out a solution for a cup and for that purpose you have to listen the cup very clearly for that purpose you should be a you should have very typical four characteristics which hanemann explained in the aphorism number 83 for the case taking he says that you should be a you should have a freedom from prejudice you should have sound senses then you should be a keen observer and last characteristic that is the fidelity interesting the picture of disease 
these are the characteristics which he has mentioned out of which you should have a sound senses my suggestion is that that there should be one rubric for us there we should be alert and that alertness number of times gives you a remedy directly you can listen them very clearly so if a patient who is sitting over there in your opd in the um, waiting room and you are dealing with another patient but this patient who is sitting in waiting room he is coughing a lot and he was coughing in he is coughing in a typical manner he is coughing in such a manner that every time it is <coughs> <coughs> this is how he is coughing you can listen that that every time he is coughing that he there is a paroxysm of a single cough a way back i understood this rubric from the kent's uh, sorry complete repertory it, there was a earlier version of a kent's rep, uh, complete repertory with me with a previous version of homepath i had found it in cough chapter cough consisting of a single paroxysm rubric is cough consisting of a single paroxysm and only remedy mentioned over there was the calcarea cup i prescribed the calcarea cup for that patient after whenever i have deal with that patient when his number was there and i saw the result is it worked so why not to look for such things there are four sub rubrics under that cup consisting of single cup a cup consisting of a two cups then cup consisting of a two in successive so that you have to understand from the patient so if a patient is sitting over there and he is coughing like that <coughs> this is very typical he is coughing in two paroxysms and if, which are very close to each other and you will have very few remedies under that you have belladonna merk or merksol that is the only remedies which are mentioned over there try it my suggestion is that always experiment with it and you can get that you can get the results in such types of cases because these are characteristics which you can listen and confirm paroxysm of three cups is also there then two or three cups that is also one more rubric i think so today i have not in fact looked after the two days topic i have selected it just half an hour or 15 minutes back that i have to take a cup so um, i will going to discuss what the way um, it happens or it comes out from my mind so i am not going to discuss specifically yes um this is the cup uh, acute cup chronic cup wet cup dry cup it is very difficult it the way it reflects from my mind i will going to discuss there are multiple ways of looking towards the cup and if you get, if you are able to catch this specific modalities this specific sensations this specific locations this specific uh concomitant or you, typical sounds which you if you are able to catch those are very 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 important for prescribing point of view so in acute case these are the hints which for which you have to look for even you have to look for the way it has the sound which is developing over there that is also important it has been mentioned in our matra medica cough like a barking of a croak it has been given in aconite and if it is because of just draft of a cold air it happens that aconite and there is a difficulty in exhaling in expiration in aconite these are the hints which you have to look for when you look for the cough so when i look towards the cough generally i used to differentiate it into two parts whether it is acute or of a chronic origin if it is acute i used to look for such characteristics what i am getting and if i get these characteristics it's too simple to tackle the curve so every time i i, I will not need a home mother tincture for prescribing for such cases mother tinctures are important 
in order to palliate the conditions very early. So, if patient is not getting settled or if patient is having very, very chronic irritation and he requires an urgent result, then and then only you have to take the help of mother tinctures. Otherwise, there is no need of giving mother tincture in such types of cases. So, where post I dif differentiates whether it is acute or chronic. If it is acute, I find it out the characteristics. And if I get, yes, I am quite sure regarding the prescription of the remedy, then I, I prescribe that remedy. But if a patient comes to you with a chronic cough, then it, it becomes rather difficult and you have to understand the cough very clearly. Yeah, when whenever a patient of a cough comes, you have to differentiate from where it originates. Whether it is having a problem with the throat, basically in the larynx or in the pharynx, whether it is a crowd, if it is a crowd, whether there is a discharge, if it is of a tracheal origin, that also you have to look for, whether it is of a bronchi origin, that also you have to look for whether it is of a lung tissue origin. So, every everything you have to understand and accordingly you have to look towards your remedy. And that's why differentiating or diagnosing where exactly the problem is, that is very essential for treating the cup. If, if you open the repertory and open the cup, you'll have ample remedies mentioned under that. And then question arises, which one to select? And for that purpose, these, these are the hints which you have to understand that exactly find it out where the cup originates. So that is first thing I used to find it out, what, what may be the problem with the patient. Uh, generally, homeopathic physicians overlook the examinations. I, my suggestion is that, that you must examine the patient. At least you should have a torch and look after the throat, whether there is any problem in the throat. This is too important to understand whether there is any pathology which you look for, whether there is enlarged tonsil, whether there is enlarged uvula, whether the pharynx is swollen, whether um, there is any follicles over there on the pharynx. So, number of things you can confirm with the help of your examination. Then if the patient is having cough from the chest or even any cough, you must auscultate the patient because you have to understand whether it is of a lung origin or whether it is of a bronchial origin or whether it is upper respiratory tract origin. So you have to differentiate it from the upper respiratory tract to lower respiratory tract. People will ask or there are a number of practitioners who used to say, that, Sir, what is the use of auscultation? My suggestion is that first understand what you are treating. Whether you are treating the cup of our upper respiratory tract origin or lower respiratory tract origin because our prescription depends upon that. Second important thing when you are prescribing for that, you have to understand one important thing that if it is of an acute origin cup is there, then what exactly site is? If patient is coughing right from this area, look for any anything what is there. That is very essential. Our remedies are mentioned accordingly. If you go through the remedies and understand sentence by sentence, then you can immediately find it out the difference between them. Generally what happens, we used to consider the cough and we feed the remedy in the patient. And that's why number of times we never get early results in cup patients. My suggestion is that you look for them. You find it out that what exactly the problem is there and how he is presenting that thing to you. Presentation matters a lot. There are ample characteristics you can get in such types of patients. Patient comes to you and he is cupping and cupping with sneezing. Another, you have to find it out. Yes, cough associated with sneezing. Then patient comes to you with cough and while cupping, tremendous cupping, the lacrimation happens to be there. Characteristic, it becomes characteristic. Because concomitant is very important, which you are looking for. One of the patient who comes to you with a cup and having a 
lot of involuntary urination again a characteristic so because the either a sensation either a modality either a concomitant makes that symptom more characteristic and that's why we need a con we need specifically a complete symptom to tackle the um, curve <coughs> don't prescribe only patient comes to your doctor i want remedy for cup and give the remedy it's not like that it's not allopathy that you are you are, it is not fixed this is antitussive or it is a bronchodilator homeopathic remedies are not like that you have to look for exactly what may be the cause what may be the uh, presentation what may be the totality what may be the complete symptom and then then you will understand the exact prescription and success depends upon that so tackling the cuff requires a lot of understanding regarding the characteristics of the remedy and for that purpose learning the materia medica by heart is very important so it may if it is of a pharyngeal origin you have to find it out the remedies which act specifically on a pharynx and may are able to produce a curve if it is of laryngeal origin you can find it out that the argentum nitricum or nitricum or argentum group is it is very important the, then if it may be a tracheal origin you can look for the remedies like a uh, rumex over there or drosera is there these are the remedies which you can think it is not fixed that i am going to tell you this very specific remedy it depends upon the situation but specifically when you are thinking about treating the curve you have to look for all those things some people tells me sir handling the cup open the cup chapter in the repertory and prescribe i will suggest you that this is a good homework for you just open the cup chapter and see how many pages the cup chapter is there if you will you will have ample varieties of cup mentioned in um, repertory which are not at all there in the old school treatment or allopathic treatment in the greatest Um, part which is mentioned over there in the specific in the uh, repertory and accordingly you can think so basic thing is that you go through the repertory in cup chapter there is cup is separate and expectoration is separate again see there this is the in fact importance of homeopathy we have a big chapter on cup we have a big chapter of on expectoration also and the varieties of expectoration which are mentioned and accordingly on the basis of that characteristic we have to look for the remedy so when we are prescribing the remedy for the patient we have to look for all those things uh, so basic whenever you are thinking about all those things this is too too important for you and then you go to the home find it out the chapter on the curve and read that and then one more suggestion is that in the borix matra medica there is a therapeutic index at the end. <clears throat> open that borix therapeutic index and just open the cup over there i think he has given a very important remedies in those uh, over there and he has differentiated the specifically the cup into a specific parts he has explained the first cup dry followed by different areas then he explained that cup uh, i think so it is laryngeal cup laryngeal was the second one then he has explained regarding the horse cup the loose cup then he has explained regarding the uh, thesical cup that means tubercular cup Th- then he has explained i think so um what it may be a nervous curve or spasmodic curve the borix matra medica gives you lot of clinical aspects and that guides you to come to a closer to come closer to the your selection of a remedy so this is a simple technique that these are the hints which you have to look for and then you can tackle all those cases with the help of a repertory with the help of a materia medica 
इन द रेपर्टरी चैप्टर कप एंड एक्सपेक्टेशन दीज टू मस्ट ओपन सिट फॉर एन आवर एंड जस्ट गो थ्रू द मेन रोब्रिक फर्स्ट डोंट ओपन सब रोब्रिक्स इमिजिएटली फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड विच आर द रोब्रिक्स गिवन ओवर देअर फॉलोड बाय आफ्टर वर्ड्स द आफ्टर लर्निंग दोज रोब्रिक्स देन गो to find it out the sub rubrics under one rubric i will um, i think if you will un- open the one sub rubric uh, under the main rubric you will have ample things given under the cup and this study we have to do that di- gives you a differentiating factors while treating the patient so my suggestion for all of you when you have to deal with the curve basically go through the repertory understand the things very clearly and then treat the curve your success rate will increase a lot so this this is the hint for a day that again do a study again understand the curve even from the uh, regular books ENT book you you understand this chapter or you can open respiratory system in davidson's and uh, understand the cup even it has been mentioned very de- in detail in the davidson's medicine book and after understanding that you go and understand the repertory so these are the very important things which are mentioned there there were lot of discussion going on over there and it has been mentioned in kent's repertory 35 pages are mentioned on the curve yes that that is the thing which i want to suggest you why homeopathy is difficult to practice is only because because we have to go on learning and learning and learning and learning that that never stops but that is the only way with which we can get very good results and we can tackle very difficult cases in such now today's mother tincture i will going to discuss with you before that some auxiliary measures which we will discuss auxiliary measures is whenever patient of a cough comes what are common auxiliary measures generally we used to ask if it is of a throat origin or pharyngeal origin we used to ask the patient to take a salt water gargles simple technique that helps a lot to relieve or to remove the slurp from the throat and if it has been removed from the throat immediately patient feels temporarily better uh, there are ample things the people tells and those are also helpful because why uh, people patients ask you number of things and we must know all those things the importance of all those things if a patient is having a cough because of a bronchi bronchial origin the taking steam is very important why it is important because number of times the allergens are attached with the bronchial tree or tracheal tree and those allergens can be very easily thrown out uh, with the help of a steam inhalation you should not advise that you should go for steam for longer time i used to ask the patient to take steam at least for 2 or 3 minutes that's all that is sufficient i never allows them to take for 10 minutes 15 minutes in no need only 2 minutes steam is sufficient but ask him to do it regularly at least for a week so that those allergens which attached over there can be removed with the help of that for wet cups i have seen that the more people they ask that doctor putane khalle sal dil mm yes this pulses the absorbs a cup and that that is very important thing then um there are different methods people used to do if a patient is coughing a lot they um, goes to somewhere and they finds it out the uh, uvula is elongated and they do a certain things i don't know what they would do pan te sangta tumhi padjib damli uvula sapr press kela mhanun what they do i don't know really but they do uh, such a type of things previously in general practice there was a one more method which they used to use there was um, it is called as a mendal spent or something like that and that was applied on the uvula um, and it gets strung because we and that's why cough settles a lot those were different methods which they were doing 
बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज इन सच केसेस अकॉर्डिंग टू इंडिविजुअल अकॉर्डिंग टू द पेशेंट यू हैव टू टेल देम ऑल दोज थिंग्स देन कॉमन थिंग्स विच वी यूज टू एडवाइज देम इज अवॉइड द ऑयली थिंग्स अवॉइड द सावर थिंग्स बिकॉज दोज इरिटेड वॉट एवर द इरिटेड द कप यू हैव टू आस्क द पेशेंट टू स्टॉप फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स आई यूज टू टेल द पेशेंट दैट Uh, you should avoid taking the food which is packed in the uh, parcel because that uh, which is packed there are number of things which are added in order to preserve so pre- wherever preserver is added that preserver itself number of times become is very important factor which irritates the cup and which is which bounds to be an allergen म्हणून प्रिझर्वर टाकलेल्या गोष्टी घ्यायच्या नाहीत दॅट इज द दॅट थिंग आय यूज टू टेल द पेशंट इन नंबर ऑफ पेशंट सो दीज आर जनरल ऑक्झिलरी मेजर्स विच आर व्हेरी इसेन्शियल टू टेल द पेशंट अँड देन यू हॅव टू गो टुवर्ड द रेमेडीज सो रेमेडीज हाऊ टू फाइंड इट आउट दॅट ऑलरेडी वी हॅव डिस्कस बट वन मदर थिंग जे टुडे वील गोईंग टू डिस्कस अँड दॅट इज जस्टिशिया ॲट दॅट ओडा it is used in um, even in ayurveda also but with a different way they are using it or their preparation is different and our preparation is little bit different it is in indian shrub it is also called common name is vasaka yeah i used to think about this remedy whenever dry cup is more marked and patient is suffering a lot with a severe spasm over there i used to think whenever it is associated with the coryza and sneezing sneezing is more marked in justicia so we'll we'll re- we'll learn that from the borix matra medica if you have the borix matra medica just open because a uh, few things i want to share with you and those are very essential to understand the justicia first sentence i think it's it is highly efficacious medicine for acute catarrhal conditions of the respiratory tract used in the beginning acute catarrhal infection affection generally of the respiratory tract upper respiratory tract justicia plays a very very vital role so to if you are have if you are having patient and patient is not getting um, uh, urgent result and you have justicia give justicia at least he settles very early if there is a dry cough and if you are not getting very typical characteristic modality or characteristic symptom coryza uh, with cough that is second sentence which is mentioned over there dryness of the mouth and throat like a bryonia it is there in justicia and there after he explains over there a dry cough from the sternal origin extending all over the chest so it starts over here dry cup on the che- in the in the center and it spreads all over the chest that is typical of a justicia patient ka doctor ithun kokla hai there are people who comes and say the doctor ithun kokla hai to the upper sternal notch na uh, patient explains and touches that level you must think about the remix remix that is very important characteristic so every remedy has its own specific points bifurcation of the trachea where there is a cough which arises patient denotes it over there you can think about the uh, drosera or spongia over there spongia basically it covers whole aspect so every important thing which you have to look for it then hoarseness larynx painful paroxysmal cough so patient's hoarseness is more marked uh, because it is of upper, upper tract upper respiratory tract origin associated with painful pain or spasm in larynx patient cups 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 and there is a very severe spasm over there if patient comes to you with a cough and he is holding his larynx like this doctor फाटेल होईत मला असं वाटतं की दिस इज व्हेरी टिपिकल 
cupping and it is very dry cup and he holds his larynx over there it is allium sepa it is given in allium sepa very specifically patient feels that the larynx will get torn over it and he holds the larynx while cupping he holds the chest then it becomes a bryonia so these are the characteristic presentations of the remedies which you have to look for here it is the larynx pain pool paroxysmal cough with suffocative obstruction of the respiration so cough is so severe character the patient feels as if there is a very much obstruction and is dyspnea and patient feels um totally breathless because of continuous coughing that cup not of a lung origin that cup basically of a upper respiratory tract origin but causing a breathlessness then it it is given in italics cup with sneezing see that is very important that one should not forget when you are thinking about the justicia this is very important aspect which you have to look for severe dyspnea with cup dyspnea which is because of upper respiratory tract origin cup is because of upper respiratory tract origin but cup is so marked that it produces very much severe spasm tightness across the chest underline that that is given in italics tightness patient is feeling that all over the chest because of cup everything is becoming tight very severe justicia is again mentioned asthmatic attacks cannot endure a dose close warm room so close warm room it aggravates the condition they are suffoc they feel suffocated there because spasm is there in the larynx and that produces a breathlessness in case of justicia and last point which mentioned which is mentioned over there is the hooping cup again given in italics hooping cup means dangya kokla hooping cups a very very severe um, cup which arises right from over in the in the throat only pertussis so that pertussis one important one of the important remedy is justicia so when you think about justicia it is of origin in upper respiratory tract lesion and problem over there which is responsible to produce a cough over there and which is basically of a dry variety not a productive cough if the patient is having productive cough don't think about the justicia because productive cough generally happens to be there either with the bronchi or either with the bronchial secretions or either with the uh, lungs lower respiratory tract origin and that's why justicia is very important in upper part or upper uh, area see he has given one hint over there what he has mentioned relationship seems to come between allium sepa and euphrasia in between state between two remedies the allium sepa and euphrasia you get a justicia over there so now that for that purpose you have to understand the allium sepa also when you are learning the allium sepa you will get there are cuff is also mentioned we generally think of allium sepa only in coriza but it's not so allium sepa is a very important remedy for the cuff also and same is true for the euphrasia we used to consider it is also for the either lacrimation or nose nasal complaint but euphrasia it is very clear classically mentioned under the cuff and that you have to read so open the allium sepa notes today find it out how is the allium sepa cuff and how is the euphrasia cuff if you are able to understand these two then you will understand the state of the justicia in between so this is these these things you have to work hard these sessions why i am taking i am taking that the i am stimulating you to read it again yes i know that you have read it but what happens generally we read and we only keep certain things about the remedy in our mind and those only those things remains in our mind and few hints which are there in the book we miss when you you read it second time 
you get few more things. When you read it third time, you get one more thing. In the similar manner, you go get a different views looking towards the same remedy. Alim Sipa, we generally think for as such acute trouble. But I have treated one patient of a post-avian. He was sir, he was he has done total hip replacement, and after total hip replacement, he came. Uh, he he was a doc. He is a doctor, and um, he has done immediately a surgery, diagnosed avian, and after surgery he started very severe neuralgia. It has been mentioned under the Alium Sipa for the severe neuralgic pains, neuritis. After a um, in the stump after the amputation, what you do in total hip replacement? You ampute the part of the femur, and then I have given that specific alium sipa to the patient. Within a 24 hours, his neuralgia stopped, which was not responding to the carbamazepine or all other sedatives and B1, B6, B12. 10 days he was only on that and he was just literally crying at that time and settled with Alim Sipa. See, these are the things which you have to find it out in the remedies and those are essential for your practice. So, I think so. There is a dose which is remaining. We will read that. Dose is third potency or higher. Yes, mother tincture is also a dose. But he is explaining over third and higher. Severe aggravation has been noticed from lower potencies. Don't repeat lower potencies. So, better aspect is to give the mother tincture. Mother tincture will act under the primary action, and that there will be no severe aggravation. So, this is very simple way of applying the. Uh, remedy. There are ample remedies to be discussed. When you um, go through the cup chapter, you will have a drosera, you will have a spongia, you will have mepite, n, n number of remedies in our homeopathic matra medica. Uh, Aralia, racimosa, um, the, the very, very specific remedies are there in our matra medica. That is the homework for all of you to open the chapter and find it out exactly uh, the cup chapter and find it out remedies over there, main rubrics, sub rubrics. Uh, don't go on writing down the remedies, but just understand what are the rubrics and sub rubrics given in the chapter so that in whenever patient comes to you, you can you know for prior to it that yes, we have. A rubric for such and such condition so that is the homework for all of you for today's session after today's session tomorrow we'll meet at the same time with the, with the another mother teacher and the homeopathic therapeutics for it till that period again a request for all of you tell your friends to attend the sessions and subscribe our YouTube channel and go through the videos again and again so that you will get benefited because of it Thank you for attending the session. We'll meet tomorrow again at the same time. Thanks a lot.